as much as I love those applications, and I absolutely do, I love doing that research. I really want to see our technology because we've developed so many cool things. If you take nuggets out of it, you can package it into those MVPs and you yeah. can field pieces of them that are product level reliable. Yeah. And so what I think off-road autonomy should be doing is a lot of people have fielded teleoperable robots. Yeah. The next thing would be guarded teleop. Yeah. Well, this then, is what we were talking about earlier with yeah. having an autonomy system that interdicts if you're trying to hit something in a yep. teleoperated sense that yep. you shouldn't be hitting. Yeah. And then you can do things like person follower or leader follower. Yeah. You can do route follow, which is, you know, this is the path. Somebody's told me this is a drivable path. I'm going to stick to the path and that's it. Yeah. And then you can have the research ongoing that Naya does a lot of for the true go to point. Yeah. Where you're starting at an... Uh, like I say any A to any B. Yeah. You can start at any A and then do all the work in a novel environment for procession planning, localization control to figure it all out to get through some novel scene to get to B. And yeah. we're pushing that forward in a whole bunch of cool ways. But I think there's a lot of ways we can take pieces of that stack and create lower levels of capability that are actually fieldable in the right constrained environments as an MVP.